Well, hello, paper crafters. Thank you for joining me today at my YouTube channel, One Ant's Paper Crafts. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be using up a lot of our designer series paper and some junk envelopes or packages. This is a CD holder, just a standard 5x7 envelope. Again, when you get your bills, You'll get these kinds of envelopes in them. Save them. This is a little package that I got when I was at a local restaurant and my silverware was in there. So let's go through this and see what all it holds. It is closed together with some of our Mossy Meadow ribbon. Now our first little envelope I made and a lot of this paper is retired, but you can use any kind of pattern paper you have on hand. It's just a little pocket envelope to put like a little love note into somebody. Then it has a tag here that you could journal on. Like I said, this was the envelope that I received my silverware in. This is some retired vellum from stamping up. This is just washi tape and that's how it is attached to my folio. And I'm gonna give you all the instructions on how to do this in this tutorial. This little bag here, I believe is what in and out gives the gluten-free buns in. And so I saved one of those. It also has a little card in it that you can journal on. There's another little envelope here and a tuck spot here. Then this is the CD holder with a little place to journal and I backed the inside of that CD envelope. I think I may have said player, but <laughs> the CD envelope with again, some of our retired paper. This is one of those junk envelopes. I put some designer series paper on the back of that. This is all some washi tape. It also has a little tag in there that comes out, a little journaling tag. This is actually some ribbon here to help pull it out. There's a little pocket here with some note paper that I made this little notebook with. Then it opens up here. On this side is a tag, a little tag here, and here's another pocket. You could put something there. On this side here, again, a little journaling card, an envelope here. I don't believe I put anything in that one. It opens up another journaling card and you just make all of these pockets with designer series paper. Then there's some journaling cards here on this side in this little tuck pocket. The same with the other side. Then an envelope here with a journaling card. And you open it up another little tuck, tuck spot. And you could also glue some pictures on this. So this could also be a type of photo album. There's tags in each one of these. And again, this is all retired designer series paper, but I wanna use it up because we're gonna have our celebration promotion starting soon. And we always get really fantastic tape paper with that. So to close it up, you just fold that one in, then this one, then that one, then this one, so on and so forth. 
and you just can tie it up and I'm not going to tie it real quick. And then the back is covered again with some our designer series paper. So let's get started in making this project. In today's video tutorial, you are going to need two pieces of seven and three fourths by 11 inches paper, two of which are the same pattern. And make sure that you're aware of the direction of your pattern because this is going to be the orientation of our little scrapbooking pockets. So we want our flowers up and down. So on the seven and three fourths inch side, you are going to score it at a half an inch on one of the sides, then bring in your other paper and you're gonna score a half an inch, but on the opposite side. So what I did was turn it around and score a half an inch there. So you have one score lines on both sides of these panels. So see a score line here on the left hand side and a score line here on the right hand side. And then I just took my scissors and notched those out. Then you're going to want a coordinating paper and this measures seven and a fourth by 11, but you're not going to score it in any way. And I'm gonna show you how you glue those together. So you're gonna take your first piece, you're gonna open it up here, and you're gonna lay your pattern paper there in the center and you're gonna glue that down. Then you're going to take your other piece on this side, apply glue here, and glue that down. Now I'm gonna put this on fast motion and glue that down and get back with you. So then what you end up with is a tri-fold panel. Now I think I may need to raise my camera up so you guys can see. And on the back is where you've glued it. Now remember we started with a piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper and we cut it down to seven and three fourths, which left us with four and a fourth inches of paper. But I went ahead and cut off a fourth of an inch. So this is four by 11. Then I scored it in the middle. So then I will have two equal sides of two inch or a total of four inches by 11. So again, four inches by 11 inches scored at two inches, fold and burnish. Then I'm gonna bring in the detailed trio punch and I'm gonna not only corner round that, I'm also going to use this little decorative area too on both 
both corners. So again, the decorative and then the corner rounder. So then you have this piece of paper that is four inches by 11 inches, folded and burnished in half, so two by two. So what I've done is I have glued it to one side here to give the back of our folio some strength. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now let me caution you when you go to glue it. Be careful where you glue it because what I did is I, on one I threw away, <laughs> I glued this down and then I put glue here and this was closed and I glued it. So I couldn't get it open. So make sure this part is open. So again, I've already done it on this side. And so now I'm going to do it on this side and I have this pattern showing. So I'm going to put glue right here first. And lay it in here. Even it up. Turn it over to make sure it's even on both sides. That looks good. Then when I turn it over to glue this side down, I need to make sure that this is not folded down. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to put glue right here. And again, make sure this is open, not closed down. And I'm going to fold this down over on this side. And so now we've got three equal panels here. Flip it over and the three panels here, along with the three reinforcement panels. I still think I need to raise my camera up so you guys can see better. This is a big project. Okay, now for the pockets on the right side of our little folder. I took some paper that is retired. It's petaled promenade, and it may have been a celebration. Maybe not. I just have so much of it. It's crazy how much I have. So what I did is, there is sheets of it, and I'm going to show you, like this, that have all of these squares and circles and borders, and I thought, I need to use some of this up. So it worked out perfectly that if I cut just right along the edge here, and then down each one of these, these measure five and seven eighths by three and a half. And then what I did is I scored a quarter inch on three of the sides. Then you're gonna fold and burnish that. And then you're going to just take a circle punch and the one that I have here on my chair is uh, the one in three-fourths, but it really doesn't matter what size you use. You just want to cut out a little half circle here so that you'll be able to reach into this little tuck pocket. And then what I did is I just trimmed off the corners at an angle, just a little snip there, and it takes some of the bulk out. Then I'm going to add double-sided tape here and here 
and I'll be right back with you after I do that. Okay, so I have my double-sided tape now on three of the sides, and I put these first two on the ends down first so that I could center this one. So I'm just gonna angle it. I've removed the backing off of this, and I'm gonna just line it up about even with those, and then I've removed part of the backing off of this side, the bottom side, and I'm gonna just pull that and lay that down, and then take my pick tool and remove this side here, and then fold that down. So then we have three little tuck pockets here for things. Now, for this side, on the left-hand side, what I've done is taken a piece of six by six paper. I've corner round it with the detailed trio punch and decorated it, put double-sided tape on three of the sides, and that's gonna be a little tuck pocket there. And what I like to do is just pull off part on one side and part on the other side. Then line it up where I want it and lay it down and then pull off that side and then the other side. And so there we have a little pocket here. Now this, I use the vellum, and again, this is also, I apologize, retired paper. This is floral romance, but Stampin' Up! is going to have our celebration promotion coming up soon, and we always get fantastic and beautiful paper, so I'm trying to use some of this paper up so I can get more. So anyway, you can use any kind of paper you want that coordinates. Now for the vellum here, this is six by six. And what I did is just trim it to where it's a triangle. And then this is five by five. And I just laid it over the top. So there's going to be a tuck pocket here and a tuck pocket there. And I'm just going to put this down with some glue just right on the edge of the vellum. And this glue dries clear, so we shouldn't be able to see it. I think that's good. And what I'm gonna do is just like with here, I butted it up, I'm gonna butt it up right at the edge here also. There we go. Perfect. So again, tuck pocket here, tuck pocket here, and a tuck pocket there. Now for the center here, what I've decided to do is take this little strip here, and it measures one and a half by ten inches, and it's a belly band. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue here at the top and a little bit down here and put it in the center. So for a journaling card to go inside of that belly band, I have cut a piece of paper that is five and three fourths by nine inches. And then I've also cut a piece of a book page the same dimensions and I'm going to glue them together so that we have a place to journal on.
and you're just gonna lay that on top. Then take your bone folder and spread out that glue underneath there. And I like how you can see the pattern ever so slightly underneath that journaling card. So as we bring in our folder, that journaling card will just tuck in there. So what I've decided to do was to make a couple of tags to go in these pockets. And so they measure five and a half by two and a half. And I backed the paper with very vanilla so that the tag would be a little bit more sturdy. Then I corner rounded the bottom here. And then to make it a tag, what I did was snip off the edge and so I'm gonna use this template of one of the previous ones so that it's exactly the same as the other tags. And I just snip that off, then take this piece, lay it over here, and use that as a template to trim off the edge so it's even on both sides. There we go. And then I'm going to take the detailed trio punch. I'm telling you, I use this thing all the time. It's fantastic. And this will punch a hole up here. So there's a little line here. And I just center that in the middle of the tag. And then I know I'm going to get it in the center there. And then I'm just taking a little bit of the twine that was from some of our paper pumpkin kits and I'm just adding it to the tags. So this one was white, then this one was the green. I'm gonna put that green one down here. I'm just trying to use up some of my stash guys. And it's just a tiny little tag. Uh, you could use it as a bookmark. You could write somebody a little note leave it on their door very very simple i might even decorate the front a little bit for right now but for right now i'm gonna just leave it as is so then what you need to do is take some envelopes that are basically junk mail envelopes now this little envelope yesterday my son and um I went out to lunch and this was a little envelope that our silverware came in and I said, oh, give me that envelope. Um, I can use that in a journal. And he laughed and handed it to me, but then he also gave me the wrapper to his straw and said, here, do you need this too, mom? I'm like, no, that's okay. So, but anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. So you need a stack of envelopes that are varying sizes. So this is a CD holder. This was just a little bag. I think some bread came in that. This is just a five by seven envelope. This is just a junk envelope from a bill. And then this was from Stampin' Storage. And I like that because that's a nice big envelope. And what you're going to want to do is layer them in different sizes. So your biggest one first, then the next size, and so forth and so on. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and add some ribbon for the closure. And I went ahead and started gluing these down so I can't do it this way. So I'm going to do it um, up and down. So I'm gonna pull my ribbon so I have more than enough here and I'm gonna lay it down and then glue that down. Okay, so I've used Fabri-Tac glue to glue that down. I'm gonna turn it over and so that will be my tie. 
and let me just go ahead and cut it so I make sure I have more than enough for it and it's out of the way. Now I went ahead and started gluing my envelopes down and again like I said you're going to want to start with your largest one and these are going to be decorated so don't worry about how they look right now. So you glue your first one down on this side and then that's going to fold in. Then your next side is going to be glued here on this side and then that's going to fold in. Now my next one is going to go here and it's going to fold in there. Then this little bag here I just took a piece of designer series paper and did some edging on it with a punch and glued it so that it has a hinge. I have it on both sides and then that will just be glued back there. Then this CD holder will be glued here and then my little envelope that came with my silverware will go here. So I'm going to glue all of those down, put it on fast forward so you don't have to take the time to watch that and I'll be back with you. And now this will be covered up, so don't worry about how that looks. But as you turn it over, then you can see our little envelopes and tuck spots will open up this way, then this way, then here, 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 here. And then our file folder will open up this way. And so now we're going to decorate these with pattern paper. Now here is the completed project, all decorated with tags. And I did not give you the dimensions of all of these tags and pockets because you may decide to use something different. What you will do is just measure your pockets and fit whatever paper you want in there. So thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions on this video tutorial, please leave a comment below and I would be more than happy to answer it and let you know how I did certain things. Please post pictures of your completed projects because I would love to see them. And again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the notification button. And I'll see you guys again 
next Monday. Goodbye.